And welcome back. This game has such a historic significance in the ongoing discussion between Nick Saban and Bear Bryant. Growing up around Alabama and Georgia, every kid grows up knowing the name Bear Bryant. The houndstooth hat, the Coke bottles, everything that he was all about. But more recently, they all look up to Nick Saban. But it brings up the question, which coach is the greatest of all time? Inside the halls of the College Football Hall of Fame, there stands a mural dedicated to the sports all time greats, including the man known as the greatest coach. We've been playing like we're afraid we'd hurt somebody, hurt the feelings or something. Next to him, the one chasing him. Oh, you know, you guys make all these predictions about everything, about guys that are going to be great players that have been here for two years and who's going to win all the games. And I don't even know why we play. Bear Bryant and Nick Saban, two Alabama coaches in two different eras of college football. The best a few minutes that. ago. You're, you're the only one saying that. Well, Both of put it back. Create it right now. No. Both known for their tenacity of coaching the very best of their players and, of course, winning. I'd like for the people to remember me as being a, a winner because I ain't never been done but a winner. In Saban's pursuit of beating the Bear, he's accomplished some feats Bryant never did. Two Heisman Trophy winners and a national championship at another school besides Alabama. But Bryant still owns Saban in all-time wins. He ranks eighth all-time with 323. Saban currently sits at 216. But the pace Nick Saban has won national championships, not even the Bear won so many in such a short amount of time. With a win against Georgia, Saban puts his name next to the Bear for most national championships by a coach of all time. And with time still left before Saban's career is over and he joins the Bear in the Hall of Fame, the conversation will continue. And so will Saban's pursuit of the Bear. Let's compare the two side by side right now. Bear Bryant, obviously, more SEC championships. He was at Alabama longer than Saban currently has. 14, 13 at Alabama. The only other one he had was at Kentucky. It was their only SEC football championships. But then you see national championships. They're right there with each other. But Bear Bryant obviously had a longer career as Saban has to date, has more wins and a better record overall. But again, this is almost the favorite discussion people around the country, and especially in Alabama, like to have. Is it? Nick Saban or Bear Bryant, who's the better? Well, you do the math. Uh, Nick Saban's got to coach about at least 10 more years right. to catch up numbers-wise in wins. He can catch him, obviously, for national titles. He may even pass him for whatever he does. But so many discussions about when is Nick Saban going to retire. He's got to hit a 75-year-old date to get to that point of being a guy who can pass Bear Bryant. But people are already saying he is the best already. And then it wins one more. People say he already is. And, you know, you look at those titles in the short amount of time he's been able to do it because, you know, Saban was defensive coordinator in the NFL for so long. He hasn't had as much time as Bear Bryant. I think they're right there neck and neck. Neck and neck.